This is a story about an American boy named Philip who lives with his parents on the island of Curacao in the Caribbean. The island is suddenly attacked by German U-boats who surround the island and cut off any supplies from getting in and out. Philip's mother decides she wants to go back to America and takes Philip with her. However, the boat they are traveling on gets attacked and Philip is thrown overboard, suffering a head injury. He awakes on the lifeboat with a large black man named Timothy and a cat named Stu. The crew of three drift for a while until they approach a small island. However, Philip soon discovers that he is blind due to his head injury. They make their way onto the island and set up camp. At first, Philip is distrustful of Timothy because he doesn't like blacks, but later discovers that he needs Timothy to be his eyes while they're on the island. Timothy teaches Philip all about the island and shows him skills to take care of himself, like fishing and weaving. Timothy senses a hurricane and prepares for the storm by tying both of them to a tree. When the storm hits, Timothy protects Philip from the wind and the rain. They both survive the storm, but exhausted, Timothy soon dies. Philip buries him and resumes life on the island. Eventually, Philip is rescued and reunited with his family. He gets surgery to fix his eyes and vows to find the island where Timothy is buried. Desert island stories are always difficult to narrate, especially from the first person perspective, because we as the readers know that the narrator survives. How else could he tell the story? Racism is an underlying issue in this story. Philip's mother has taught her son that blacks are lower than whites, an attitude that Philip has when they first arrive on the island. However, Due to his situation as a blind person, he must learn to get along with a black man, subduing his inherent racism. However, we see that his racism is more than subdued as he befriends Timothy. Similarly, the author makes Philip blind, both literally and figuratively. This blindness forces him to see beyond skin color to the point that he doesn't view Timothy as white or black, but just as a fellow human being. In terms of storytelling mechanics, this story presents an interesting perspective on narration. For the most part, the narrator is blind, so he cannot give physical descriptions of his surroundings, but must describe his experiences through his other senses. What's even more interesting is how readers are still able to picture the setting and images through a blind narrator. You'd think that it could never work, since a lot of people say how much they like authors who can paint pictures in their heads that are so visual. But Philip as a narrator paints a picture of an island without visual images, but descriptive images. In fact, as readers, initially we are all blind when it comes to reading stories. The author describes images that are in their mind, and we must recreate them in our mind to understand the world presented to us. This is a great example of the power of the imagination and the written word, that people are able to imagine something or someplace without having actually been there and seeing it. 